Don't be distracted. In, in Luke chapter 8 and verse 22, Luke chapter 8 verse 22, the Bible says, Now it came to pass on a certain day that he went into a ship with, with his disciples. And he said unto them, Let us go over unto the other side of the lake. And they launched forth. But as they sailed, he fell asleep. And there came down a storm of wind on the lake. And they were filled with water and were in jeopardy. They were in jeopardy. The New Living Translation says that they were in real danger. They were in real danger. Now, in the midst of the danger, which is what we are also in, I mean, if you joke, you can easily die. Because when you, when you catch the virus, <laughs> you, you can easily die. There's no joke about it. The virus is a virus that never existed. God didn't create the virus. But you see, a human being has created a virus, and it is now affecting the freedom and the lifestyle of human beings, what God created us to do. God created us free human beings. Even our own will. God didn't take our own will from us. And that is something that we should never disrespect. The human rights of people, that your, your ability to make a decision and to choose, that can never be taken away by any human being. Because God created us. He placed the, the, the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil in the garden. And he told us, don't touch the tree. So people ask themselves, if God knew that eating the fruit of the tree will bring us thus far why did he put it there because God did not create us as robots and that is why you hear people sometimes protest and demonstrate because when you try to suppress people it's evil when you suppress people it's not of God yeah. so we are in real danger I mean and the real danger is what makes a lot of things follow thereafter. So the Bible says, because they were in a real danger or they were in jeopardy, and, was, and they came to Jesus and, and awoke him. They woke him up. Verse 24. And they came to him and woke him. Because Jesus, as they were in jeopardy, as the boat was being filled with water, Jesus was sleeping. Can you believe it? Now, you, you have to understand Christianity. Because Christianity, even though we are all human beings, we are going to work, we are doing everything, but some of us are spiritual. I don't know about you. Some of us are, are rude and are, are, are being guided by the Bible, the word of God, not by what somebody says. There's a major difference in that. That even though we live in a country and all of that, we, we respect the laws of the country as much as it doesn't contradict with our faith. As long as it interferes with what we believe, we, we, we will say no. We will say no. That, that, without apology. And then if there's any repercussions, our God will fight for us. I said, our God will fight for us. So be it. Daniel, even though they said, whoever prays to another God will be arrested and placed in the den of lions. Daniel wasn't affected at all. He continued to do what he knows to do. That is what I am talking about this afternoon. Continue in your life. Follow the few things that are very logical and make sense. <laughs> and put your mask and wash your hands and all of that six feet and all those things. There are so many other things that are not important. The protest, the noise. The start. You either take the vaccine or you don't take the vaccine. Let's continue to serve God. Let's continue to preach to people. Let's continue to invite people to church. Let's continue to do what we are doing. Do not be distracted. 